Okay, what we've got here is what we call a plumber's blowtorch, a gas torch. This one's actually got the bottle already connected to the actual torch itself, the burner apparatus. Um, what we've got to make sure, obviously it's for soldering copper pipe and copper infeed fittings. What we've got to make sure is that there is no gas leak inside here. So the maintenance areas, first and foremost, is to make sure that the trigger itself is okay to move in and out. We can turn the gas on and off here. Uh, the nozzle's all nice and tight and it's all very, very clean. Um, what we've got to make sure also that uh, it lights up correctly. So let's just turn this on. We're going to turn the gas on. And I can tell it's glowing quite nicely. Um, from a safety point of view, the safety requirement, as I said, this point here is where the gas bottle joins the gas gun itself. We must make sure it's not leaking. How do we assure that? Is we could spray some leak detection fluid on it. And if it starts to bubble, therefore we've got some leaks. All right, so that is the only real area that we must make sure of that it's not actually leaking. The other area is at the end, we must make sure that we've got the correct flame picture. Yes, correct flame picture. I've taken some pictures to show that, but essentially the, the flame that comes out of here will be lovely, nice color blue, no orange bits in it. If it's orange, that means there's dirt stuck inside the nozzle, or the gas is running out. We must make sure that it's a nice, good flame picture. Okay, that's the gas bottle maintenance it's like a plumber's blowtorch and it's for soldering copper end feed fittings and also solder integral solder fittings but where we could add some solder as well